Hello you beautiful peeps, my name is John, welcome to my channel. Yes, we have this car and we are ready to run it for the first time. Uh, we're, as soon as we're at the speed run area, I don't expect it to go very fast on 2S. As you can see, the 2S is shoehorned in there. GPS meter here. Uh, we are literally just going to be running this very quickly here. Uh, and then obviously we'll do some uh, gravel testing as well. But it's a nice big area, so let's see uh, what sort of speed we can get. Yes, it does sound like there is a bit of a, a meshing issue here. I've just run it just a little bit and noticed that, so I obviously have to fix that, and that will affect the top speed. But let's see what we can get anyway, shall we? So, this is John Robinson RC, and this is the ZD Racing Thunder B10E. Let's get on. This is Tarmac Test. Okay, I just wanted to show you the GPS currently at five kilometers an hour that's how fast i walk so go back i'm gonna hit start let's see what we can do shall we make sure that the throttle is on full What do you reckon, call him? 52. 52. Stop. Read. 44. Okay, that's not really the fastest. I reckon we've probably got another two or three kilometers an hour um, with the meshing issue. Do you think we should put the 3S in while we're here? I do. I'm gonna go and put the 3S in. 3S battery is installed. If Colin pans behind him, you'll see that rain's coming. I have no idea what happened there at all. I won't go so far this time. Isn't 3S a lot of fun? Wow! I did not expect that. Oh, here we go. There you go. That may be why we were having transmission issues. So, what do you reckon? Top speed? 57. 65 on 3S, ladies and gents. Does that car not look very cool at speed? <laughs> See what it does on this gravel, shall we?
Okay, who put a tree there? Oh man! Ah, uh, ladies and gents, you can see how uh, tidy Malta is. I'm going to take it to a more suitable gravel area. So this is a new day and this is a new location. You've already seen the tarmac footage, so we are now going to be testing it on the gravel and very, very rough area, actually. Uh, I'm not going to even bother to put the 2S in. I'm leaving the 3S in there because let's all face it, we prefer it when RC cars go fast. So we're going to leave the 3S in there. I've got one more 3S and we'll just uh, keep on driving it to see if we get any failures upon it. I had a look at the footage of the tarmac running and I have to say I thought it looked pretty good. So let's see how it handles here and let's see what the footage looks like. Let's get on. Ah, your turn. I'm really, really impressed with this car. When you consider that all of this was put together, a one-tenth scale car for 174 US dollars. Have you seen how quickly it gets to you? This reminds me of the... Um, uh, ZD Racing BX8E, the 1.8 scale that we've got. Ready? At least we get like a lot of exercise, Colin. I get that one. Yeah. That's my fault. I think I broke it. Yeah, I broke it. I think that last roll was just like too much. Now, nothing broken. The anti-roll bar has come off, but that came off when it was on my desk. So I, I honestly don't think that that's a specific problem. So come on, get in. I love it when it's a repair with no tools. And steering arm on. All done. Go! Oh, that was a big rock. Oh, that was a big rock. My turn. Oh, that was a big rock. You liked saying your turn then, didn't you? Yep. Okay. Uh, Oops. You just hear that rock and nothing happened. Come on, oh, 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 oh. nearly got it. Early reports, Colin, are such that I don't want to stop playing this. I want to keep on driving it. Ah! <laughs> you giggling? <laughs> Big rock. $170 US 
74 US dollars, Colin. That is a bargain. Have you seen the mess that you've made? Have you seen this? Cut. Okay, ladies and gents, we just went to record the next part, which is the slow-mo jumps, and we've had a failure, but it's not its failure, it's my failure. Let me show you. In here, all the way down there, on the actual uh, center drive shaft, let me focus properly, there we go. Right, hopefully you can see now, when I lift up the front wheel, see how the drive shaft's turning where that Allen key is, right there. Um, so unfortunately for today, we are done, but I can come with my conclusions in just a second. So, ladies and gentlemen, other than a stupid John that did not use thread lock on the bit that he said he was gonna go back and do, I did on everything else, I just didn't on that for some reason, I do not know why, I have to say this is my new favorite car. This is it. This here for 174 US dollars is my favorite car. Did you see what we was doing here right now? Colin said straight away it looked like a nitro car equivalent, the way that they seem to handle bumps and jumps. And invariably most of the nitro cars that we've seen are much more expensive cars than what this is. And this just handles it exceptionally well. Is there stuff about it I don't like? Well, the fact that they don't have a thread lock on certain drive shaft uh, grommets is an issue for me. But other than that, yes, there's one thing that I do not like, and that is on the tie rods here and on the steering arms here, they're non-adjustable. That irritates the crud out of me, and I know it does a lot of you as well. There's a, a few things that pretty much all manufacturers of RC cars should do. Have adjustable tie rods and steering arms, and oil filled shocks and then their cars would get much better reviews how have they not figured this out yet i do not know so you may have gathered can i recommend this car to you all after testing it thoroughly yes 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 can i recommend it to you guys if you don't use my personal link and i don't get any commission from it still yes because it is worth it it is worth your hard earned cash and this I bought myself with my money. I don't have to say thank you to Banggood or AliExpress or Maker Fire or any of them because it is just my opinion. Was I worried about getting a kit and making a mistake and looking like a fool? Well, of course I was, but luckily I didn't look like a fool. It looked amazing up until I looked like a fool when I forgot about the uh, thread lock on the drive shaft grub screw. But we all make mistakes, don't we? So run by, by one, by two, by one for your whole family. Christmas is coming up. Don't forget that. It's well worth it. And all in all, I have to be honest with you, putting it together, putting the electronics and everything, it's probably taking me about an hour and a half in total. Remember, it takes me much longer because I'm recording at the same time. So for you guys looking at the manual, you and your son, you and your daughter, you know, it, it should take a lot less time. It is just downright brilliant 
and once I fix that, Colin and myself will be out driving it straight away again, I can guarantee it. Would I recommend 2S? If you've got smaller kids, most definitely, because this is too fast. If this hits a kid's leg at full speed, it's gonna hurt, and it's gonna hurt real bad. So 3S for the adults, 2S for the kids, and the whole family are gonna have a lot of fun. The great thing with this kit is that you can put in what motor, uh, what ESC, what servo, what controller you want. This one I'm extremely happy with. I've, I've always used the Surpass Hobby 3650 uh, 3900 uh, KV motor because I've never had any issues with it. I've not had one failure and I've put it in a lot of cars now. Uh, and it, it just keeps on going and going and going. Love it, my new car, ladies and gents. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Take care of yourself, stay safe. Bye-bye. Ooh, it's my new car. And it's not Colin's, it's mine, it's all mine. He gonna play with it once. No, he's not, because he's going to break it straight away. Always.